Hey fish heads, I'm Jason Halliker. And I'm Holly Wagner, and we're here at Conway sampling brown and brook trout today. So stay with us, because this video will be downright shocking. Joining us today is Justin Heflin. Justin, please tell us about the Backpack Electric Fishing Unit. This guy is what we use to sample the trout streams. Um, it's battery operated and the battery is housed in this compartment. Um, the menu controls the frequency and the volts that, that the unit actually puts out. Um, the probe is the positive end here with a safety switch in the thumb. Uh, and then the negative end is the tail. Awesome. Now let's go to the stream. Alright, we're stream side here. I'm with Paul Bugis, the regional manager for Region 4 Aquatics. Paul, tell us a little bit about the sampling that we're doing today. Why are we lined up like this? All that good stuff. Well, we got a crew of uh, individuals with two backpacks because the stream's kind of wide. What we've done is we've pre-measured the uh, area that we're going to sample today. And we're making three passes up in the sample area that we've already designated, picking up everything that we stun. We take the catch back, we separate it, we count and weigh them, and we go back and uh, plug the numbers into a model that um, will eventually give us a uh, number, a population number, for this particular second stream. Excellent. Now, uh, a lot of people wonder whether or not the fish get hurt. Do they die when we shock them? How does that work? No, they don't die. Um, in fact, these are really good tools. These uh, backpack shockers have come a long way, and we're able to adjust the, the voltage and the amperage to the point where the fish it's done, they roll over, we get them out of the water quickly into a bucket, pick them up, work them up, and then and get them back in the stream and relatively on time. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. All right, we've finished our runs, we've caught our fish, we've done three consecutive runs. John Odenkirk, he is the uh, biologist with us here. He manages the Conway River. Tell us a little bit about this, special, this fishery and what makes it special. Well, Jason, as you can see here, I mean, this is just a gorgeous stream, absolutely when you think how close it is to D.C. metro area, Richmond, a lot of population centers, you get out here and you feel like you are on a different planet. Look at the size of these boulders, this granite freestone stream, beautiful headwater trout stream, full of wild trout. We did, what, a 100 meter section here? We got probably 200 fish. Wild brook trout, wild brown trout, gorgeous fish. Uh, many of them over the 9 inch minimum size limit. So, uh, you know, you are allowed to keep a few fish here. It is special regulation. It's a 9 inch minimum, 5 per day. Uh, most of the fish we caught were not legal, but there were plenty of fish that were legal. Uh, the great thing about this is access isn't bad. We've got a, tra a, a jeep trail essentially that comes back in here. It's a little rough in places, but it's not too far off the beaten track. You can get back in here again. It's like you're on a different planet. Beautiful headwater trout stream. You bring the kids back. They can play on these rocks. A lot of times people come back in here just because it's cooler than it is out. I mean, yeah. this is a gorgeous day for the summer in this area. Normally it's hot and humid and nasty. You get in the stream and cool off a little bit, fish a little bit, kids can have fun. Uh, it's just a wonderful place to come up to. Conway River, Rapid Day and Wildlife Management Area, Shenandoah National Park right across the stream with here on state property. This is an amazing fishery. You guys do an awesome job. Thank you Thanks. very much. Appreciate it. For more information, please visit our webpage. Go to Fishing, Rivers and Streams, and the Conway River. For Region 4 Aquatics, I'm Holly Wagner, and we're signing off.